Okay, thank you for attending our webinar today. Before we get started, I just want to note a couple of different webinars that are coming up in the future as well. Um, on Tuesday, September 4th, we have our e-agency IDX getting started, and that's specifically geared for Keller Williams Market Center administrators, tech coordinators, and agents. And that'll just go through how to request your IDX solution and also add it to your website and customize it. On Wednesday, September 5th, we have our e-agency Genius Suite for Market Centers. And once again, that's just geared for Keller Williams Market Center administrators and tech coordinators. And it's going to go through the Genius Suite and also the different packages that we offer within the Genius Suite, um, and also what um, the market centers are receiving right now for free. So if you do want to sign up for any of these webinars, you just have to go to wolfnet.com slash webinars and hit the sign up button right here. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about targeting foreclosure listings. And my name is Emily and I'll be giving this webinar today. And Daniel will be answering questions throughout the webinar. So if you have any questions, please type them in the question box and he'll answer them. We'll also leave a couple minutes at the end as well if you have any additional questions. And if for some reason your question doesn't get answered in the webinar today, we'll email you with a response shortly after. So today we'll be covering how foreclosure listings can be located as well as how that information is displayed on the search solution. So um, the data is presented on these different following pages. The property search, search results, listing details pages, favorites, and search saver. So it's important um, to target foreclosures today because in today's real estate market, there's a large portion of home buyers that are looking specifically for foreclosure and short sale listings. More and more MLSs are making foreclosure data available in their data feeds. So targeting these um, types of listings allows you to provide a value-added service to your property search. So on the form-based search, you can um, search for foreclosures in two different ways. The first thing is that you can actually click on this foreclosure box right below the property type. And if the REO or bank-owned listings are available with no other foreclosure type, it'll actually be displayed as REO or bank-owned instead of just foreclosure. If short sales are also available in the market, an additional checkbox will appear right below that checkbox under property type. Um, the other way to search for foreclosures is by changing the search criteria at the top of the page and clicking on foreclosures. That will also restrict your listing results to just foreclosures. And once again, if short sales are available, that short sale checkbox will appear on the foreclosures search page under the property type. So if you've opted to add map tracks to your search solution, um, you can also search for foreclosures in the same ways as you did with just the search solution. So you can click up here on foreclosures or also in this checkbox right below property type. If the foreclosure search type is selected, the map will display only foreclosure listings, regardless of the search par parameters that you've entered on that search page. And once again, as with the form search, the short sale checkbox, um, if available, will be displayed underneath the property type. So on the search results page, there are three different possible banners that can be displayed. So you can either have a foreclosure banner, REO or bank owned, or short sale, depending on the property um, and depending on the listing. On the listing details page, the foreclosure banner will be displayed in the lower right-hand corner of the picture for each listing with the foreclosure. And also on the listing details page, um, there's the overview text below the listing or below the listing picture. And once again, that different type of foreclosure will be listed right next to the property type in the overview section. On the favorites page, you'll see the banner right here as well. And I also want to note that the star designates that it's a favorite. So you can also save your property um, searches, that are your properties that you search for. And if you save them, you'll see underneath here on the property type where it says foreclosure as well. So um, to save a foreclosure search, all you have to do is select the recent searches that you searched, and you'll see a list of them appear, and then there'll be a call to action that says save this search. So custom URLs that target foreclosures can be created and placed on your website. This creates a direct 
links to foreclosure listings in your market without having to go through the search solution. So this allows for foreclosure-specific marketing on your website. You can also add other search criteria to the URL, such as specific cities, areas, and prices, and also a variety of other information. Custom search URLs can be created by using the URL Search Builder tool in your back office. So that concludes our webinar for today. Thank you for attending. Um, if you do have any additional questions after the webinar um, or you want some more information, you can contact us by any of these different methods. Um, and also, don't forget to sign up for other webinars. Um, and like I said, if you just go to wolfnet.com slash webinars, you can sign up there. And now we'll just take a couple minutes for questions. Thank you.